Ashley is doing my bikini body program, awesome. Occasionally I have to skip workouts due to work and having kids. I feel you, girl. What I typically do is make up for it the next day with that day's scheduled workout. Is this okay? However, this week I had to skip Saturday's leg workout because I was out of town for a wedding and I was also out Sunday. So I did that workout on Monday, skipped Monday's regular workout, and then followed up with Tuesday's regular glute workout. Should I have given my legs a rest for a day or two instead? What's the best way to stay on track when workouts are missed? Okay, so main question is what's the best way to stay on track when workouts are missed? I pulled out the bikini body guide for you and I'm just looking at phase one. So phase one, we've got biceps and abs on Monday, booty on Tuesday, back and chest on Wednesday, plyometrics on Thursday, shoulders and triceps on Friday, legs on Saturday, that's the one you skipped, and Sunday's a rest day, which you skipped. What you did is instead of going to biceps and abs on Monday, you skipped that Monday workout and did your Saturday leg workout on Monday and then went from there and then did booty on Tuesday and kept going. So I designed these Jessie's Girls programs to be I mean, I've thought of everything. Rest days, recovery, time between workouts, sets, reps, mixing it up. I mean, everything. So the answer is yes and no. It's sort of okay, but sort of not. You, you did okay, but I would have done it a little bit different because no, I don't want you to do legs on Monday and glutes on Tuesday because you hit legs and glutes on both of those days. And I really want, those are huge, huge muscle groups and I want them to grow. And all the magic happens and all the growth happens on rest days and when you're recovering. So you go in the gym, you beat up your muscles. That's not when they're growing. They grow and change when they are resting and recovering from that workout. So if you go do legs on Monday and just kill it and then wake up on Tuesday and go do legs again, there's not enough rest time in between those two. So what I would have done is, you didn't tell me why you couldn't train on Sunday, so I'm thinking you probably could have. <laughs> I can see you missing Saturday, you got babies, you had a wedding, it happens. Um, but that wedding wasn't on Sunday, so I'm pretty sure you could have snuck a workout in there. So what I would have done is skip Saturday's leg workout because you had a wedding. Um, and do Saturday's leg workout on Sunday. So basically you just flopped your rest days. So Saturday was gonna be your rest day and now Sunday is your leg day. Uh, Monday, go to your biceps and abs workout and then Tuesday's booty. Now you just have one day of recovery in between two leg workouts. It's pushing it, it's a, not quite enough rest, but totally okay every once in a while. So that's what I would have done. Now, if it was really actually impossible for you to train and go to the gym whatsoever on Saturday and Sunday, what I recommend you do is get some home workout equipment and it can be as simple as getting some B-Force bands. Here's the link to uh, the bands that I use in my own workouts, my own home workout stuff. Uh, if you use code I am B Force Jess, that's right here, you'll get a little bit of a discount in there. So what I would have done is Saturday, take that as a rest day because you were really busy in the wedding, and then Sunday I would have done Saturday's leg workout from home, from your hotel room, on the side of the road, at a rest stop, whatever it is, uh, on the dance floor, whatever you're doing. I would have done my Saturday leg workout with home workout equipment. So Saturday leg day, you've got all sorts of different stuff like side band walks. The B-Force Bands Company makes bands. The band is this big, okay, it's tiny. Put it around your legs and do your little band walks, all right? There are one, two, three different exercises for calves on this leg day. So pick up your kid and stand on the edge of a curb and do calf raises, okay? So you can totally get that one done. There's leg extensions and two other versions of squats, okay? So it's not gonna be the best case scenario because you don't have a squat rack or a Smith machine or all the weights available to you, but shit, if you don't have any other options, just do something. So 
you know, hold on to your kiddos or just do body weight, whatever it takes, the bands, you know, like hold on to the bands, add some resistance to it and just do body weight squats or do some jumping squats, do something. Okay. So you can totally get that Saturday workout in. You could have done all of it on Sunday and then gone right back to Monday and been right on track. So just when you, when you girls start to kind of change around the split because life happens, just keep in mind the big muscle groups, legs, back, those, those kind of big compound muscle groups. You want one to two days in between them, so don't bump them up right next to each other. Another tip is, let's say you have really great biceps and abs you can totally throw in on another day. So maybe Monday, you don't need to do biceps and abs. Maybe that's a workout that you, that week, that one time when shit got a little crazy, you can skip that workout. I would. So if I was doing phase one, week three of Bikini Body, and I was like, I can only get to the gym four times this week, I would absolutely skip biceps and abs. If I wanted to do abs, it's super easy to just toss those into another workout. You can throw them into your rest day. You can add them to the plyometrics day. You can add them to the shoulders and tries day, whatever you want to do. Keep in mind that you can, every once in a while, neglect a, uh, a muscle group that is one of your stronger points. You can you can add abs into other workouts or a rest day. Don't forget that I just don't want you to mash together big large muscle groups like glutes, legs, and back, okay?